A lambda expression is an unnamed method written in place of a delegate instance. The lambda operator separates the lambda's parameter list from its body or expression. Let's take a look at a simple example. This lambda expression defines a method that takes an integer as an input, squares it, and returns the result. The func int, int delegate, is used to represent this method. Now let's take a look at the second example, where we have a lambda expression with multiple parameters. This lambda expression takes two parameters and returns their sum. It is also represented by a delegate with two int parameters and an int return type. And in the third example, we have a lambda expression with no parameters. This lambda expression takes no parameters and returns no value. It simply writes a greeting to the console. This kind of lambda is represented by the action delegate. And one more example, a lambda expression for a higher order function. Here, the lambda expression is used as an argument for the list t find all method, a higher order function that takes a predicate. The lambda defines the predicate to find all odd numbers in the list. And now let's see a more of a real world example involving sorting a list of people. Here we have a person class and a list person with several person objects. Now suppose you want to sort this list by the person's age in descending order. You can use the sort method with a lambda expression to define the comparison. After executing this line of code, the people list will be sorted by age in descending order. The lambda expression is a shorthand way to define a comparison between two person objects. It's equivalent to defining a whole new comparison person method, but much shorter and in line with the sort method call. Hopefully this tutorial will help you learn more about the lambda expressions in C-sharp. If you want to learn more, check out the official documentation or visit our website codeprepping.com where we have hundreds of interview questions with answers. Thank you for watching.